She grinding on the toe, crawling on the flow, let me hang low on the YouTube. Street. She grinding on the toe, she crawling on the flows, she let me hang low in these YouTube streets. She grinding on the toes, crawling on the flows, let me hang low in these YouTube streets. Hey, 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 everybody, hey, she grinding on the dough, crawling on the flow, let me hang low in these YouTube streets. Hey, 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 everybody, hey, she grinding on the dough, she crawling on the flows, she letting it. As I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I am doing good myself. I hope everyone is keeping y'all hands washed, sanitized. Run y'all face masks and basically stand out of the way. Before we jump into this reaction video, just let me say, just in case your post notifications is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I do ask that you hop in your whip, hop in your hoo go ahead and take a cruise on over because I do have them reaction videos uploaded, okay? Also, y'all, before I jump into this reaction, just let me say my thoughts. It's my thoughts and my opinions, yes. Mine. Anyways, y'all, let's jump into this reaction. Woo! So put in the comments down below, y'all, if y'all was in the live again. Okay, she she titled it the final the the final chapter. Okay, so this is the last chapter, which means you're about to close that book. You're about to be done talking about your your husband, baby daddy, and his baby mama, are you about to be done? Because this is the second night that you have, you know what I'm saying, you losing sleep and losing time doing what you want to do because you on a whole lot trying to address nonsense. Yes, it's nonsense. Then you get on the night before and you just all over the place. You don't know what to do with yourself. You put out a live. You come right back after shutting that live down to come Come back and go live again and give a whole nother, what was that, an hour, almost an hour. Then you come back again when you should be in your bed sleep, okay? <laughs> But you, you in the you in the streets lurking, okay? You all over there trying to see what LSA got going on. Want to hear the interview? Want to know what they saying? What's what? At the end of the day, if you was not worried about it, you was not stressed, oppressed, girl, you'll be in your bed sleep or trying to come up with some ideas for your next video or however the case may be. You will not be here. Coming on here in your office in the dark trying to ear hustle, trying to see what's going on. Girl, just leave it alone. At the end of the day, go get in your bed and go get ready for the morning because guess what? Don't your kids got to get up for virtual online learning? I'm just saying, don't they got to get up for that? So don't you need your rest instead of coming on live trying to explain your side and answer the questions? If that's the case, you just should have tried to join in so you can speak. Speak your side, or if not, why don't you just call them up on the phone and y'all just go ahead and have it out and, you know what I'm saying, just let it be what it be. Anyways, y'all, <laughs> it's crazy because y'all already know somebody was going to get a hold of that girl because they ready to talk, okay? They ready to say something. I was receiving emails and I was like, hold up. So, uh... Telling me basically, oh, Chrissy was live and what's going on with LSA and all that. So I had to, you know, I, I went over to check it out and see what's what. So basically, I want to know, did Chrissy run this man off because she was fixing spaghettis all the time? That's what I want to know. So y'all put in the comments down below and let me know. <laughs> Was you over there feeding that man the same meal every day and then saying it's your kid's favorite? I mean, y'all have to understand she does have a lot of kids. You get what I'm saying? So you got you to gotta fix whatever meal that is going to stretch, that is going to last. So if that is spaghetti, then spaghetti is what it is. And how they said how she would get on here and she would do like the uh, the cook, uh, is it cook with me's or however the case may be. And she will always do the kid's favorite meal, how she would 
repeat it. You know what I'm saying? Always fixing the same thing. Well, but she got on here just to say, well, y'all, I have a cooking channel and y'all see what I'm cooking all the time. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you might just be cooking that just to put out that video. Nobody knows when you cut that camera off, what are you actually feeding these kids? Because we know that you like to eat seafood, but you don't give them, you don't give them that the, the same to eat that. You don't give them that. So we know that. They have to eat something else. You might cook them something, buy them something, but they never have that option to eat the seafood. Also, y'all, <laughs> it was so funny. What I don't understand how she get on here and she's, she's trying to explain everything from the time when this guy left and, and what she told him when she told him to leave and he decided that he wanted to leave and she thought he said that she probably thought that he was playing. You know, if you asking me to leave and want me to leave, if I leave this time, I ain't coming back. But y'all remember in that video when she was explaining what happened and when he left, how she told him to leave. And when he got his stuff and he left, she actually thought that he was going to come back, okay? But he did not come back. And that's when she was saying that, he might be in Texas with his mama. She knew that he was in Texas with his mama. And he was, he wasn't in Texas with his mama. He was, yeah, <laughs> playing house elsewhere. Also, it's crazy because, like I was saying, she get on here and she explain everything, the whole rundown. Girl, you don't have to get on your live and explain the whole rundown. Because as you always say, if you can go back to my videos, which means if you seen that video when I put it out, you are, we already know what you said. We already know the reason why. But what I do want to know, since they are over here and they are saying... Uh, the baby mama is saying, what's her name, Steffi, or Stephanie, or however, Steffi, uh, saying that she is going to push him into uh, filing for a divorce, filing for a divorce, and she is saying if they want to fund him for a divorce or, you know, she going to push him into doing that, then that's fine, but I have already did my paper, so I do have a divorce pending. Okay, y'all, we gonna take it way, way back. Okay, so y'all remember the time frame when he had already left her, right? And she was having these little meltdowns. She was coming on here saying that he had somebody else pregnant long time ago. When she was coming with the clickbaits and the lies and she was saying somebody was calling his phone and then somebody called her and she, she had a tracking device on his phone. Just all these different you know, situations that was going on. She said then, y'all, didn't she say, and this was a while back that she said that she was filing for a divorce and she was doing a, she was going to send him divorce papers. Do y'all remember that? So I want to know if you was... That it's like, okay, what happened to those divorce papers back then when you said that you filed and you were serving him papers? What happened? Now, all of a sudden, you do have divorce papers pending. Also, y'all, what I want to say, and this came to my mind, I don't understand how all of a sudden this girl that had this baby, okay, and now that she done had the baby, everything is, <laughs> I mean... Things is just out of whack. How she was saying how they tried to be cordial, okay? She tried to be cool with Chrissy. She tried, but at the end of the day, I guess, with Chrissy saying what she said, and basically, you know, when you say kids is off limit, she couldn't take it no more, okay? She had to say, you know what? Enough is enough. What I want to know is, how is this lady coming on here and saying that they're going to... They're going to ask for a DNA test, right? They're going to ask for a DNA test about her kids. But she get on here and say, you know, a DNA test, a DNA test for what? I feel like at the end of the day, this guy is going over here and, and feeding these ladies, her and her sister, a whole lot of information about Chrissy, okay? He's going over there and saying what was going on, what she was doing, what she wasn't doing, how he wasn't happy. I feel like he's giving the whole rundown. That's why they can say, hey, um, ask for a DNA because... Somewhere in there, he is saying something about these kids. And y'all already know, they've been saying for a long time that Junebug is not his son. 
A lot of people been saying that. So I feel like he has questions or something he is, mm, he not for sure about to bring up a DNA. You get what I'm saying? So maybe he feel one of them boys is not his. And I can only say gotta be Junebug because Blaze look a whole lot like him and I guess Onyx too. But you know, <laughs> that's the only reason I feel she can come on here and she can say all that towards Chrissy because it's something in there that they know, okay? And they know because of him. Hmm. And y'all also, if y'all watch Chrissy live, Chrissy, girl, you must have to be stressed and depressed. You must have to, you must have to be, I'm talking about more than mad, more than boiling. You was hella hot, okay? You was so hella hot, you forgot, you didn't know what to put on. You come back in that same sweatshirt that you had on the day before, or what was that? A couple days before, you come back with it right back on trying to address this. It's like if you big and you better and you in a better position and you know you got your shit together now and you're not worried about what they got going and his kids with her, you're not worried about that? Well, shit. It sure is showing different because you got on the day and it looks like something is is boiling you. It's all in your face. I don't know if it's what these ladies is saying. But yeah, <laughs> something really got you, like you worried about something. Do you feel like something is going to come out that you don't want nobody to know? Because it's enough coming right now for as the DNA test. Somewhere along there, like I said, his question or they are bringing that up for a reason, okay? And whatever the reason may be has to do with what this guy has told this lady over her. Also basically with the kids how she said with the guy that she only knew about the twins she didn't know about the rest of the kids but y'all remember um i'm trying to go back y'all remember that video that they did and she was it wasn't a q a with her and him and he was acting real strange and how he was saying when he met chrissy he did not know about all the kids that she had she lied about the amount of kids that she had and once they got into a relationship once they was together then she throwed it upon him like hey i got all these kids so i feel like that's 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 real shade that's real crooked that's real foul you get what i'm saying why not tell them up front also ooh, also talking about the child support how she was saying his baby mama is saying telling him not to send her money because she she's not gonna do nothing but spend the money on herself you get what i'm saying she doesn't spend the money on the kids but how would you know that and how can you step in in their situation and tell him what to do so it kind of looked like he with this girl over here and she basically has control it's like <laughs> she got him by the nose and she pulling him around and he gonna do whatever he gotta do to stay good over there so if if she want him to file a divorce. He going to do what he got to do. If she want him something about this DNA test, he going to do what he got to do. And then for as a child support, Chrissy wanted, what was it, $300 every two weeks. But the girl was saying for him not to send her no money because she is not going to spend it on the kids. And how Chrissy get on here and she show her new outfits, but you don't never see no them for them kids and that is something that i did bring up before y'all and that has nothing to do about child support i feel like kids need to be taken care of regardless even if you feel like she gonna take the money and spend it on herself long as you know that you doing what you supposed to be doing hey don't worry about the rest because she will get that shit back you understand also like i was saying I have noticed, too, and I always said this about Chrissy, y'all. Chrissy will get on here just like she got on that Chanel sweater. She'll get on here with her designer. I don't know if it's real or fake. I don't know, and I don't care. But she'll get on here with her designer. But I look like this, but my kids look like, yeah, who your mama? Where your mama at? You get what I'm saying? I don't feel that that's right, and I had already touched that. So, if she was to receive money, maybe she will spend it on herself and do what she want to do for it herself. I'm just saying, or maybe she would take it out and spend on the kids. I don't know. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't know. But what got me was the spaghetti. I mean, damn. You know, spaghetti is good and everything, but if you eat them mugs too much, <laughs> I ain't gonna want that shit no more. You get what I'm saying? And I understand, like I said, it's a meal that's stretched, and you can eat on spaghetti for a long, long time, but damn, don't run that shit in the ground. Now, I'm over here, and I'm spaghetti sick. I don't want none of that shit. You understand? That's crazy. I was tripping, y'all. I was like, this is crazy. This girl is up on this live for another going on two hours trying to address and 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 speak how she feels toward her husband. Like, let it go. Let it go, girl. You look, you look crazy because now you're trying to keep up with everything that they saying. You're trying to respond to why is you on her responding. You already responded before, but you responding again now. Go rest your mind. If you good, if you in a relationship now with somebody that likes your spaghettis and want to eat spaghettis every day, then why are you worried about it? Girl, go to bed. Get ready for in the morning with your kids. I mean, they got her up on the live. I'm talking about... <laughs> She ain't even talking about nothing that got nothing to do with what's going on now. She is talking about this guy and his baby mama and they baby. But also, y'all, what I want to know is if you are married, okay, and his mama know you married to him, his mama know he has a whole wife. His family should know that he has a wife and has kids. How could a family member introduce them you get what i'm saying introduce him to his baby mama so the reason why he knows this lady here and has a baby with her is due to his family and how can his family jump in and buy the baby gifts and stuff but what y'all doing for his other kids that he got over here absolutely nothing so that makes you wonder and it, it, it makes you question the situation like what's really good what's really going on but like i said you, you got each of them speaking their sides, but something somewhere in there, there's a different story that we don't know about. Did the family not like her? Did they not get along? What was really going on? Did she treat him a certain way to why when he did leave and she said go, he was like, I ain't got time. Because now he is referring to her as a bitch. And I can understand. Hell, if I'm in the household and I got to listen to all that mouth that she get on here with live, on live with, I can't handle that shit. I can't have him handle it at all. I'm going to let you handle this shit. I'm going to let you hold it. And I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? And I had one um, person in my comments today was explaining that, you know, sometimes you get in those situations, even though that you do have kids with somebody, it's not the kids that you are are abandoning or, or leaving. It's, it's, it's the female. It's the wife. It's the situation. Sometimes it's just toxic to why you got to leave. And when you do leave, you don't look back. But at the end of the day, I feel it's bad for the kids, y'all. No matter how I get on here and I talk about it and I laugh, it's bad for the kids. But in due time, you just got to let it do what it do. Maybe one day... Everything will fall in place and he'll come around or however or it might just never work. Who knows? I don't know. This situation is crazy. It's just, I don't even know. But you say that you're not going to talk about it no more. You say that you don't care, but your actions show different. Your actions show that you do care. Your actions show that you care about what they saying. That's why you are over here trying to listen to this interview why is you over here trying to listen to the in interview if you don't care if you can care less or you know what they saying is some bs or it's not true then why is you over here girl hustling i'm just saying though mm -hmm. i don't get it y'all it's crazy i'm just trying to you know <laughs> i don't know I just say let it be. And how she was saying, like, now, I don't know what this guy was doing with Chrissy, but he wasn't doing too much. And y'all already know when he was in them videos, he never looked like he was happy. He never looked like he wanted to beat her. But sometimes, I guess, you know, since she was putting all these babies on him, and then there was once upon a time, and she did say that he didn't want no more kids, but then she wound up pregnant again. So maybe he was just tired, and sometimes you move on to somebody else, and you, you actually can do better 
you actually can do better and be better, you know? Sometimes you, you know, it takes that right person to change a man. You know, it can change a man for the good. And that's just what it is. Even though how he was with you, he might go over here with what she call her quesadilla or taco. I don't even know why they call it taco and quesadilla. She Hispanic, okay? Goodness gracious. Go over here with her. And hell, she might treat him better. She might make him feel a little more than what Chrissy made him feel so he feel like he can do a little bit more. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out because the lady's saying, hey, like, he, he helps. You know, they split shit 50-50. Hell, she ain't worked since she had the baby, and he been taking care of doing what he need to do. But over there with Chrissy, he was so depressed and couldn't do shit, and Chrissy was doing everything. I don't know. Hmm. I just say this drama ain't for the YouTube. You know, it's not for YouTube at all. This is a situation that actually they do need to sit down and figure out, y'all. You know why? Because there's babies and kids involved. And she said to my jazzy life, girl, I'm about that life. I'm about, I'm about them streets, okay? So don't get on her playing like you all about that rah rah, because baby girl, I'll send you my address and tell you to pull up, okay? And that's what I was saying the other day, y'all. I said, don't get it twisted because you feel like, oh, they Hispanic. They don't know nothing but eating burritos and tacos. No, that's not the case. Most of the time with them, they don't play no games or they do know people in the streets. So even though you are over here and I'm over here, I will get some type of connection to get at you. And I'm just saying, though, there's real life people out here and y'all already know if y'all about them streets, y'all done been in them streets, y'all rolling them streets, y'all already know how it go. The streets don't play. So don't get it twisted because you can get on your platform for me, you can run and talk the rah rah and bitch this and bitch that. Like a bitch won't move. Sometimes bitches will make a move. I'm just saying. So if a, if a female can tell you, you better stay in your house because that's the best way you know that you safe. I would take heed and just basically, you know, watch what I'm saying because you can't talk about everybody's kids. And like she said, you have one more time to say something about her kids. And yes, yeah, she will. She will light your shit up. I don't know, y'all. I think it's all crazy, but for real, on the on the real, I feel like they need to chill out. You know, if the shit not gonna work, the shit not gonna work. Let her, she in a relationship, do your thing. Let him do his thing. Cause at the end of the day, all this going back and forth is just gonna push him farther away from his kids, and it's just gonna be a whole. And then they got this baby girl over here, and at the end of the day, that is your kids have sisters. So somewhere in there, y'all gonna have to. Make it work. And girl, don't worry about that DNA test. You know that baby is his, right? He is the father. I'm just saying. But if he ain't, girl, you better let him know let him know and get it straight. Mm. Cause that that's what they want. And they want it for a re Ooh, excuse me. They want it for a reason. Hmm. But like I said, <laughs> Only reason that girl can step up and her sister can step up and say the things that they say about Chrissy and also talking about that they can have the kids taken away and talking about CPS and also talking about she can have the house taken away too is because they know what goes on and Chrissy can get on here and say, oh, they don't know a motherfucking thing or they don't know. Yeah, your bum husband is spilling all the information. He was with you for five years. He know what you do. He he know how you roll. He know how you get through. So, yeah, he's telling them everything, and that's why they can use that shit against you now. I want to know, you got on here and you did them lives yesterday. Why did you take the shit down? If you said what you said and you meant what you said and you was about that, you should have left that shit up. But evidently, somewhere in there, you're trying to hide something. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there was one more thing. How she got on here, and this time trying to hurry up. How Chrissy got on here. And she was talking about the guy got two other baby mamas, right? And she was saying that she never, you know, she never had nothing to say about these baby mamas. She was not in it. It had nothing to do with her. It had nothing to do with her kids. Now, y'all know that is a lie. Because if y'all go back in those videos, okay, she said a whole lot about the baby mama, about what he can do and what he couldn't do. And also about he had to change his phone number. If you was not in the middle of that and you had nothing to do with that, then why was that the case? Case. I'm just saying, don't come back and say one thing, then turn around and contradict yourself and then say something else to try
try to make it look like, as I said again, my hands is clean. I ain't do no wrong. You did a whole lot of wrong before, and now the shit is coming back. And now it's even worse because they trying to expose you. They trying to let it all out the bag. I'm just saying, though. Anyways, y'all, if y'all like this video, I ask that y'all do throw them thumbs up. And if y'all have not, I ask y'all do subscribe because she crawling on the dolls, she crawling on the floors, she letting it hang low, and these YouTube streets.